I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles and trials as well as the location of the data card within Coruscant's U Screw District within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Freeplay. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first puzzle we're doing in this video is the Welcome to the U Screw District. This is going to be just in front of the landing pad and we're going to use a force using character to move three of these orange blocks on top of each other near this building and that will allow us to get up on top of the building sign to get the first kyber brick for welcome to the U screw district so next up we're going to move to the left side of that and there's going to be this kyber brick behind a red force field turn around with a blaster character and shoot the four targets within the short time limit and once you do that that will lower the force field allowing you to get the kyber brick for sia laser Next up, we're going to be heading into Dexter's Diner, the original LEGO Star Wars hub for the Kitchen Kyber uh, puzzle here. So we're going to be going behind the kitchen. We're going to destroy some of the LEGO objects back there. That will give you a buildable astromech panel. Then you're going to switch to an astromech, hack the panel, and that's going to give you this little cutscene with Dexter's robot waitress. And behind her is going to be a grapple point, so switch to a character that can use a grapple. Uh, an astromech droid would actually work as well. And you can get the Kyber Brick for Kitchen Kyber. So next up we're going to be doing the Kyber Brick for Shock Factor. This is going to be on the left side of the map right next to Dexter's Diner. So there's going to be one of these purple force fields to the right of that. There's going to be a wall which you can shoot with a scavenger character's net launcher. So climb up that and then over here on the left side all you have to do is climb up, avoid the purple lasers. And all you have to do is do a little bit of platforming and push the switch on this side. Once you push both of those switches that will lower the force field allowing you to get the Kyber Brick and solving the puzzle for Shock Factor. So next up, we are going to do the puzzle for the walls have prizes. Now this is going to be just nearby the puzzle that we just did. All you have to do is fall down here. Now fall down very carefully next to this ladder onto this ledge and underneath is going to be the kyber brick for the walls have prizes. So next up, we're going to do kyber sandwich. So this one's pretty simple. These next few are pretty simple. Um, so you're going to see on top of this building, all you have to do is use a character that can like double jump like a Jedi or somebody to reach the top of this door and get the kyber brick for kyber sandwich. So just to the right of that, we're going to head down this hallway here, and all you have to do is jump up on top of this building, use some of the nearby LEGO objects to reach it. So next up, we are going to be doing the puzzle called Community Service. Now this one does take a while because there's going to be eight pieces of this LEGO graffiti along the walls in random places around the U-Screw district. So luckily, all eight of these do show up on your map as these blue dots, so it shouldn't be too challenging. Uh, this one takes a little bit more effort because you have to move these nearby orange LEGO objects to reach the ladder to get that piece of graffiti and so I'm just going to be showing you on the map the locations of all eight of these pieces of graffiti and then I'm going to show myself actually destroying them so that you can get kind of a general idea of where all these are located but once again you shouldn't be too hard because all you have to do is look on your map and it'll guide you right to it and then you can destroy the graffiti by either you know using the force on it which is what I do most of the time here or you can just lightsaber it or you can shoot it with a blaster whatever you want to do uh, just make sure you destroy all eight of these pieces so this one's over here that's going to be six of eight and we just have a couple more and they are on like different uh levels so the u screw district has different floors or levels um so be careful about uh finding them like this one's behind one of the rumor icons on the map um so it can be a little bit tricky to find but once you destroy all eight you'll immediately get the kyber brick for community service so next up, we're going to be doing Hero Discount. This one is not too bad. It's going to be more towards the middle of the map. So it's going to be a cover brick in a cage, but if you go just to the left of it, behind some of this uh, Lego objects and stuff, there's going to be a hero panel. So switch to a hero character, hack that open, and once you do that, that will open up the cage, giving you the cover brick for Hero Discount. So next up, we're going to be doing a puzzle called The Pipes Are Calling. And this one is insanely simple. All you have to do is go to it, and it's going to be behind these pipes. Just jump up and fall down into it. You don't even need any special abilities, and you will get that Kyber Brick. So right in the middle of this sort of market area within the map, uh, this puzzle is going to be called High on the Spire. All you have to do is grapple up with a character that has a grapple, like a hero or an astromech droid. You'll be able to grapple up to get that Kyber Brick. So next up, we're going to be doing You Screw Loose. So this is more towards the right side of the map. This is going to be a building with a blue sign. Nearby, there's going to be a grapple hook point. So switch to a character that can grapple, grapple up, and reach the Kyber Brick for You Screw Loose. So next up, we're going to be doing District Dive. So this is going to be on sort of the right middle of the map, uh, near uh, where you actually land. And there's going to be one of these points where you can use the Scavenger's Glider ability to glide over into the Kyber Brick in the middle of the air for District Dive. Now, if you don't have these Scavenger abilities, make sure you play through the story of Episode 6 or 7, and you'll unlock those abilities. 
So next up, we're going to jump up here using the nearby LEGO objects, and we're going to destroy the gold LEGO object with a Bounty Hunter's Blaster. And inside, you're going to get the Kyber Brick for Coruscant Crasher. Pretty simple there. So next up, we're going to do Market Value, yet another easy one. This is going to be sort of to the left of the one we just did. And behind some of these LEGO objects is going to be a Silver LEGO object, which you can destroy with a Villain Character's Grenade, and you'll get the Kyber Brick for Market Value. All right, next up is outlandish behavior. This is sort of in the bottom middle of the map. So the game will guide you over here, and you actually kind of have to do some crazy platforming here uh, into areas that you might not think you can actually go to. Uh, but follow the path, and you'll re eventually reach this Kyber Brick for outlandish behavior. So next up, we're going to do the data cards. This is pretty important. This allows you to get the multipliers and all the different extras throughout the game and it's really easy to get all you have to do is walk right over here into the secret area and you'll get the data card within the U screw district so now we're going to head inside to this building on sort of the bottom middle of the map and there's going to be a few cover bricks inside this circular building with a bunch of disco balls and stuff like that so to the left we can climb up this wall once you climb up you can then progress over here to the right side and do a little bit of platforming here uh, I recommend switching to a character with a grapple hook or someone who can glide like a scavenger character to make the platforming a little bit easier. And then drop down uh, below this rope to get the Kyber Brick for Kyber on the dance floor. Okay, so next up, we're staying inside here. We're going to be doing the Kyber Brick called Hearing Aid, or the puzzle called Hearing Aid, I should say. So we're going to climb up to the second floor over here. There's going to be a villain panel. Hack the villain panel with, well, a villain character. And inside, there's going to be a big switch. You can pull this down to any character. And that's going to disable the speakers, allowing you to jump down below to get the Kyber Brick for Hearing Aid. Next up, we're going to be heading outside here. We're going to be getting another Kyber Brick within that inside area a bit later in the video. Uh, but out here, this is uh, sort of nearby that disco club, and there's going to be some orange Lego objects that you can walk around here and stack on top of each other because there's going to be a Kyber Brick just underneath the catwalk here. And I believe you need three orange blocks that will give you enough leverage to reach the Kyber Brick called Under the Underbelly. So next up, we're moving on to the left side of the map. This one's called Net Gains. Once you reach this area, there's going to be a few orange Lego objects that you need to stack on top of each other with a force using character. You're also going to need to switch to a scavenger character and use their net launcher ability to put a net up there. And once you do that, you should be able to reach the net with those orange Lego objects. Climb up and on top of this building is the Kyber Brick for Net Gains. So next up, we're going to be doing up and up in U-Screw. So this is kind of right in the middle of the map almost, and you'll see it up here, but how do you get to it? Well, follow the path that I take here. And again, you're going to take the path that we sort of took earlier for one of the previous Kyber Bricks, sort of in an area that doesn't look like you can actually go onto it. And you can glide over here from here with a Scavenger's Glider ability to get the Kyber Brick for up and up in U-Screw. So next up, we're going to be moving back into that Disco Club to get the third Kyber Brick. So I apologize for this being a little bit out of order, but this one didn't show up on my map right away for whatever reason. So we're going to be moving up to the second floor. Now there's going to be a bit of a puzzle here, and the best way to solve this one is just to do exactly what I do here in this video. Um, each of the switches uh, does a different thing, like some of them turn off some of the spotlights, some of them activate some of the spotlights. And basically you want to get it to where all five spotlights are lit up. Once you do that, you will get the Kyber Brick for Under the Spotlight. So next up, we are doing everything it must go. So this is going to be on the left side of the map inside one of the buildings. This is what the outside of the building looks like. Now once you get inside, uh, you're going to want to use a force using character behind these bars. And you can move the nearby uh, orange Lego object onto the switch, giving you access inside this room for the Kyber Brick for everything must go. So next up, we're going to be going inside this building here, just to the north of the building we were just in. We're going to head inside, and we're going to be doing a lot of these indoor areas here. Uh, so get ready for this. So once you get inside here, there's going to be a power or battery block inside the building. Climb up to it, put it inside the socket, and that's going to open up the cage with the Kyber Brick for Disorganized District. So we're going to be moving to the right side into this nearby building. This is going to be called Gold Customer. So once you get inside here, uh, there's going to be a Kyber Brick behind a gold Lego object. So switch to a Bounty Hunter character, destroy that thing, and get the Kyber Brick for Gold Customer. Next up, we're going to be doing Counter Offer. So once again, we're going to be going inside another one of these buildings. And there seems to be one Kyber Brick per building here. Once we get inside, all we have to do is talk to the nearby astromech droid with a character that can understand him, like a C-3PO or somebody like that. And you will have to pay the astromech droid 100,000 studs. So make sure you got some money on you. That will unlock the Kyber Brick for Counter Offer. 
Next up, we're gonna be doing this puzzle that gives you a vehicle instead of a kyber brick. This one's called Smoke Alarm. So go inside the smoke with an astromech droid, hack the astromech panel. That will then get rid of all of the smoke, which is gonna be very handy for maneuvering around the U screw district. And there's gonna be a silver Lego object, so switch to a villain character, throw a grenade on that, and then that will give you the vehicle for Smoke Alarm. All right, so next up, we're gonna be heading back upstairs near the landing pad for you screw drift. So this is gonna be the trial of this area. So you're gonna to want to fall down here and get one of these speeders and then ride the speeder all the way up to the actual trial. So this is the only way I found to do this. There could be another way, but this is just the way that worked for me. So once you get to this trial on the speeder, now this did bug out on me a little bit. You can see my character's like levitating above. Uh, but just go through the race. You should be able to do it fairly easily with that speeder. Get the gold ranking and you will get the trial for you screw drift. So next up, we're gonna be doing key in I. So we're gonna be talking to this character here and he's gonna tell you how he needs three different key cards. So there's gonna be three key cards around this area. So I'm gonna show you the locations of all three of these. Now, the place where you insert the key cards is gonna require you to move these orange Lego objects into place to allow you to reach this ladder. This is the same area that we reached earlier for a Kyber brick for one of the uh, uh, graffitis around the map. So here is the first data card, insert it there. Now we have to find two more. The other one's gonna be located right up here. So once again, climb up the ladder and insert the second data card. Now the third data card's a little bit farther away. You're gonna have to go upstairs a little bit. It's still in the same vicinity, but uh, behind this little uh, table here is gonna be the third data card, and we're gonna walk all the way back up here and insert it into the correct spot. Once you do that, you can then drop down and talk to the NPC character. And after a little bit of dialogue, he will throw you the next Kyber Brick for Key and I. Okay, so last but not least, we are doing Landing Pad Lurker. This is going to be the final puzzle of this video. So this is actually near the Landing Pad. You could have done this right away, but it didn't show up on my map for whatever reason. So we're going to switch to a Scavenger character, use their gliding ability to glide down to the Kyber Brick, and then you can climb back up and reach the main landing pad. And that's going to be all the puzzles and all the trials and the location of the data card within the U Screw District within Coruscant, within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Free Place. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.